please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. We have Rahul Moinder joining in with a technical perspective on this market. Rahul, thanks for joining in. Now, considering that this week has been really news flow driven, what did you make of the turn of events and how would you look at positioning for Monday? So I think definitely the uh, last session was quite uh, dramatic in terms of the move up that we saw. But I think what remains to be seen is, do we get past levels of 10,580, 10,600? That's where I think the resistance is. And you know what kind of reminds me again is, if you look at last Friday, as in the week prior, we again, uh, you know, got into a, a, a loggerhead at that 10,600 odd level. So. It remains to be seen whether this 10,600 resistance is taken out well and we have a more holistic participation because there's still this underlurking fear that, you know, have we just witnessed a short term rally or a corrective up move? So when you look at some of the heavyweights, you know, things like an SBI or a Maruti, people are concurring that this could just be uh, short covering considering we've had uh, a largish kind of drop. So 10,600 odd key level which I'm going to be watching this week. If we can uh, stay above that and clear this resistance, I think we enter into a new zone altogether. What would I fear on the downside if we continue to again uh, break down levels like 11,350 odd? Again, that will be a key breakdown for me. So, uh, we're, we're in quite an interesting point in the market. But again, I would be a little cautious here before turning fully positive. Mm, so, I mean, uh, for the currency as well, if you do track it, do you have a similar slightly skeptical view? Even on the currency, I think we've kind of uh, at that 70 to 90 top that we've uh, made the, you know, that that remains to be a short term high for me. I, I think it's it's going to be 70 to 20 odd on the upside uh, resistance for the uh, uh, dollar. I think that's the key level to watch for. But I think w the worst is kind of over there. We should see uh, uh, some more strength in the rupee going forward this week. Okay, well, let's see how that plays out. Back to equities and Rahul, your trading ideas for the coming week. So, pharma was a very interesting sector and uh, I continue to think we will see follow through within the pharma stocks. And, you know, uh, I've been recommending Dr. Reddy, which I'm bullish on. I still see a good 5 or 6% upside on uh, Dr. Reddy. Aurobindo Pharma, another stock which I'm bullish on for 860, 65 kind of targets, keeping a stop loss at 770. So there's a lot in Pharma, even Sun Pharma, if I may add to that list, if you're trying to chase momentum, that's another great one to go with. Uh, Biocon, we have a buy call target of 690, stop loss of 637. So fairly bullish within the Pharma space. Uh, besides that, I've been mentioning uh, a lot of the uh, uh, metal stocks. So Vedanta would be our top pick there. A lot of volume built up that we see in Vedanta. Immediate targets are 246, but we definitely think if you have a slightly longer term horizon, we could move to levels of 255 to 260. Uh, I'd keep a stop loss of 225 when buying into Vedanta. All right, uh, Rahul, thanks very much. Appreciate you joining in uh, with uh, those uh, trades.